Okay, so we have something that we're very, very excited about watching right now. Obviously, the first Doctor Strange trailer, to us at least, was absolutely mind-blowingly good. Uh, it's not like we haven't seen cinema like that before, but we're seeing a superhero film which literally seemed to give no fucks whatsoever about actually being a superhero film. It just, it just wants to be great. And let alone the cast. The cast. I mean, God, uh, wall to wall everywhere around this film. I mean, like, the director, Scott Derrickson, he hasn't done too much of is that great, but the thing I is, this just looks right so now. promising. Yeah, the visuals look really good. It doesn't have that same kind of standard look that a lot of Marvel, other Marvel films are doing. It's really using colour, it's really using composition, it's really using a whole bunch of different interesting techniques. Um, let's, let's, just, hit let's just cop this. Let's hit this. Hopefully I pass out. Doctor Strange. You think you know how the world works? Just... Visually. What if I told you the reality you know is one of many? This is already the best visually. This doesn't make any sense. Impressive. Not everything does. Not everything has to. Oh, Marvel. <laughs> Through the mystic arts, we harness energy and shape reality. We travel great distances in an instant. How do I get from here to there? How did you become a doctor? Study and practice years of it. She just looks phenomenal. There's a strength to him. But is he ready? Oh, Careful which path you travel down, Strange. Stronger men than you have lost their way. Oh, Mads. Mads, you boy. I'm getting shivers high. Death. In pain. You'll die protecting this world. That hand. Oh, I can't. Mark this. There is no other way. I've spent so many years. Hearing through time. Looking for you. <laughs> uh, what's this, my mantra? It's the Wi Fi password. <laughs> We're not savages. It's taken uh, eight, eight years, eight years, and a lot of films for Marvel to actually achieve art. Um, oh, I actually, actually teared up a bit. That, um, <laughs> I don't know where to start, to be I honest. Just, like, I just don't I, know where to start. Everything screams like just such oh, amazing. <laughs> again, it, it just, just like with Suicide Squad, even if the film itself isn't as good as as, as, it, as it's setting itself up to be. The trailers themselves alone are just a visual treat. Not like... just visually, the the, the, the audio, the, the the selection, the selection of clips, the the everything about it, and and that little bit at the end, the Wi-Fi password bit at the end, single shot handheld. Now, if the Russo brothers had done that, they would have managed to cut that up into four different shots that did not mean anything and looked like absolute. Butthole. Uh, but that there, uh, just amazing. Like I, you can really see that he's he's he knows when not to cut, and he's really holding his shots. Now the thing is, what well, when our I'm, film looks that good, I'm trying to figure out like how on earth like Marvel have let someone like this come on board and actually get so much style involved. And I think it's because of the fact like you you look at Edgar Wright. Obviously like, Edgar Wright yeah, was yes. onto the Ant Man, and then yes. he's got a visual style. And they pulled him off board. And they right? got Peyton Reed on, and Peyton Reed doesn't have that. Exactly. Now, you look at something like this, which does clearly have a m mental style and is nothing like any other Marvel film. I think it's because Marvel are putting so much on the line to do a film like this. It's going to change how their film and how the whole universe for Marvel and works. Mm -hmm. So they've got to risk a few other things. And therefore, it looks as though they're giving a lot more control to the director. To the directors, which, which, if we think this looks good, 
If they're giving this much control to the directors, wait till we see whatever they're packing for Black Panther. Oh, Spider-Man Homecoming, yes, will probably look great. Um, I, I, I trust that film. But Black Panther uh, is directed by the director of uh, Fruitvale Station and last Creed. year's uh, Rocky Reboot, Creed. Uh, Creed was one of the best films of last year. It's one of the best modern films ever made. It's pure, full modern ecstasy, um, which is what this looks like it's going to be. Um, this... Every time I want to say that Marvel's dropped drop the ball, uh, I mean, we weren't big fans of Civil War. It was uh, we a thought it could have been much it. better. We weren't fans of, uh, of Ant-Man, could have been much better. This here is actually what we have been waiting for. Can't I really see anything about this that could be much better at this stage. And obviously we're not oh, seeing it in its full sequence edited even, together, but my goodness. Even like, the, just, you just, how do you get a cast that good? I mean, you've actually managed to get Rachel McAdams, who is off the back of an Oscar nomination, into a role where she's almost playing. I mean, I don't know that we haven't seen much about a character, but it looks like not even damsel in distress, she's just playing. I just, you, you know what? You get the, her into a character. The worst like thing that, is, I, I feel as major. though like we're talking about this, and no one, no one else cares. It feels like a dark horse at the moment. It's coming out in November. It's pretty much Oscar season. It feels as though no one's talking about it or really mentioning it. And everyone's mentioning films for next year. This is coming out this year still. This year. Um, and we, I mean, we've just seen new, new trailers for Wonder Woman, Suicide Squad, Justice League. Uh, and out of all of them, as, as, as excellent as all three of those were, this is just... <sighs> I'm actually, I'm shaking a little bit. Like, I... This film is just... Incredible. I mean, this please guys, let us know what you're yeah. thinking, otherwise we're just going to keep going on and on and on. And yeah, just tell us what you're thinking about this film, whether you're going to go see it or not, just tell us in the comments below. And while you're down there, it's really worth finding our subscribe button and hitting it to see more stuff from us. And we're also on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram at Breaking Banner. Actually got through that without fucking it up.